Good afternoon from Mrs. Achari's Kindergarten Cabin. This afternoon I will be doing a shared reading with you. It is a story that we will spend all week on and each day we will do a different activity with the story. Today's story and this week's story is called Abby and Gus, A Sunny Spring Day, written and illustrated by Mrs. Achari. Today's activity will include reading the story and when we come across words that are tricky, they'll actually be covered up by a sticky note, we're going to think about what would make sense there. So as we're reading, we're going to be really trying to understand the story and think about the words that would make sense in those spots. Tomorrow, when we read again, we'll be uncovering the words to make sure that what we guessed would look right too. So let's get on with our reading. Abby and Gus, A Sunny Spring Day, written and illustrated by Mrs. Achari. One sunny day, Abby took her dog Gus for a walk. Gus was so... Gosh, there's a lot of feelings that Gus could be having right now. Think about what those feelings might be and tell someone who's next to you. And if you're there by yourself, just whisper it in your hand. What do you think would make sense there? All right, I was thinking that I'm looking at the picture and I see Gus's tail wagging. So usually when a dog wags its tail, it means he's happy. So I'm thinking it could say Gus was so excited or Gus was so happy. Hmm. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. When they went out, they saw things looked different than the day before. Hmm. Abby's saying something seems a little different. They saw green grass and, hmm. They saw birds, they saw leaves on the trees. Okay, so here's Abby and Gus, and obviously Abby looks very surprised. She's pointing at all of the things that she notices that are different, and she's pointing in a certain direction. So what word do you think would make sense here? They saw green grass and, hmm, give you a minute to think about that. So they saw green grass and flowers is what I was thinking. But I think there could be some other options here too. They saw green grass and sunshine. They saw green grass and soil maybe. Hmm. Lots of different ideas there. Gus, it is, hmm, Abby said. So right here, Gus, it is, so as we see, and we think about the whole story, they're outside, the sun shining, just flowers and grass and leaves, and they're playing catch outside or fetch. So what would be a possibility here? Gus, it is, maybe it is warm? It's probably a warm day if they're out playing fetch. What else might it be? Gus, it is, hmm, I'm thinking about the different seasons and maybe she thinks, Says it is spring. Are you thinking all of these same things too? All day they played in the sun and had lots of fun. I love spring, Abby. Hmm? Okay, this one, I want you to think for just a minute. What would make sense there? I love spring, Abby. I bet if you were here, I would hear you guys saying, I love spring, Abby shouted, or I love spring, Abby yelled, or I love spring, Abby said. Lots of different options for that one. Ruff, ruff, Gus barked. Oh, what a wonderful day. 
So, that was a story about Abby and Gus and a sunny spring day. So, if you have someone next to, next to you, I want you to turn and talk to your neighbor and tell them who are the characters in the story and what is the setting? All right. So for those of you that had somebody to chat with, I'm thinking that maybe for the characters, you said the characters are Abby and Gus, because remember animals can be characters in stories. And then the setting. Remember when we talk about setting, we want to tell where the story happened and when the story happened. So we know that the story is outside and maybe in the spring or it is in the spring. Okay. And it's during the day. So those are all things that we can use to describe the setting. I hope you enjoyed our first reading of Abby and Gus, Safe Sunny Spring Day, and I look forward to the work that we'll be doing tomorrow. Have a wonderful afternoon.